Yo, what's up guys, this is TerraceHD and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Spore Mods quickly and easily using the Spore Mod API Launcher Kit. So, the first thing you want to do is download the Spore Mod API Launcher Kit. The link for this website will be down in the description down below. The download link is right here. You just download that right onto your computer somewhere where you know where you saved it. And then uh, next off, you just go on to download a bunch of mods that you want to install in your game. Easy as that. Now, there are a few places you can download these mods. Uh, the place that I use is the DavoOnline.com forum, uh, where you can find a bunch of different types of mods, all categorized, for example, Cell states, creature states, tribal, civilization space. My favorite mods are the part mods. So over here you can see a bunch of different mods that you can install. My favorite mod though is the Dark Injections mod, which is a must-have. The link for this uh, website will be down in the description as well. Now for Dark Injections, you just go into the download section on the website. You just click the download Dark Injections right here. And uh, if you have it already, of course, download the mod API. So, when you have both the Spore Mod API Launcher Kit uh, downloaded and all the downloaded mods that you want to install, just go ahead and install the Mod API Launcher onto your computer. I am going to click I am installing the Spore uh, Launcher Kit for the first time. And then you just choose uh, Destination. So it doesn't really matter where you install the program to, just as long as you remember where you installed it, that's all that matters. I went ahead and just installed it to my default uh, games folder on my computer. So once you have chosen where to install the program, just go ahead and click on install. And it will install very quickly. There you go. Just click on exit. And as you can see, I got a bunch of new stuff here on my desktop. I'm going to start off with clicking on the EC installer. Where it will now tell me to go and choose all the mods that I want to install. Now I already put all the mods that I want to install in a special folder on my desktop. So I'm just going to choose all of these mods right here. Now you're going to have to choose every mod individually. Once you install a mod, it will let you know that you have installed it successfully. As you can see right here, the mod uh, CP color pack has been installed successfully. So I purposely waited with installing the Dark Injections mods until last because the installation of that one is a little bit more tricky. Not really tricky, it's very simple actually, but it does involve an extra step. So when you select the Dark Injections mod, a second window pops up, which uh, just it's, it's a little config uh, window which lets you fully customize what parts you want to install. So, uh, the first off, you're gonna have to choose the user interface. There's the full Darkspore UI, you can see the picture uh, there on the right. There's the Darkspore beta UI, the style only, bunch of different types of UIs you can choose from. Now, I am used to going for the style only, or maybe, no, hold up, I, I think I'm used to going for the half black horse spore UI. I think this time I want to switch it up a little bit and just go for the full Darkspore UI because honestly it looks pretty sick on that picture. Then there are a bunch of different other uh, things that you can choose from, uh, for example the creature editor background. Uh, there's just four different types of backgrounds that you can choose from. We got the forest background which is the default one uh, you get in the in the core spore game. And then you got the ghost town background, the spaceship editor and the hero editor. I like the hero editor background the most so I'm just gonna keep that. And then we got a bunch of other things that you can select or deselect depending on what you want to install. Now I think I want to install all of these parts so I am not going to deselect anything. I don't want the true invisible limbs actually so I'm just gonna keep that unselected and then we can just go ahead and click on install and there we go installation complete so once you have installed all the mods that you want to install just go right ahead and click on the spore mod API launcher just click on yes on this window right here And then the game should boot up as normally, just with a different type of uh, title screen as you just saw. And there we have it. We have all the mods installed. Now, I gotta be honest, I'm kind of second guessing the UI that i would chosen because I have no idea where everything is now. Everything looks so different. Look at this. Look at this. Everything looks so different with uh, this new AI. Oh, man. Okay, so let's test out the creature editor. See if everything is working as it should be. 
And look at that, we got all the mods that we wanted installed. Everything is looking crazy, man. It's looking crazy. This is gonna take me a while to get used to this. Now, if you are like me and you got some second thoughts about the mods that you installed, maybe you messed up the configuration of the Dark Spore mod. You might wanna use a different UI. Well, no issue. This is super simple to change. You just need to go into the Spore mod API easy uninstaller. You're not gonna uninstall anything. You're just gonna go into the Dark Injections uh, gearbox thingy. And uh, from there, what I want to do is just to change the UI to the core spore UI, maybe with the half black core spore UI. That looks dope as hell. So I'm just gonna quickly change that to this UI and just click on apply. There you go, easy peasy, it's already finished. Now I went ahead and I uh, pinned the spore mod API launcher to my taskbar. So now all there is left to do is to click on it, click on yes on this little thing. I don't even know what that means. But uh, the game should open up and have all of the things that you wanted to have. And there you go. You might not see any difference between this and the default Spore UI, but trust me, there is a difference as you can see right now. Look at that. We got all the mods installed that we wanted to have installed. So that's it, guys. That's how you installed mods for Spore. Super simple, super easy. Anybody can do it. So I hope this video has been useful for all of you that want to install Spore mods. Now you hopefully know how to. Anyway, guys, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if it did help you out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, guys.